i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for coming back here if you are a returning subscriber i really appreciate your support god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends in our today's video we are going back to nigeria we have a very beautiful online dating success love story of a nigerian lady who found love on online dating apps after five years so dear friends it has been a year since i started making videos about online dating dating white men giving you guys tips and guidances on how to go about online dating how online dating world can be to protect you guys so that you can find yourself in the hands of the right man so if you've been watching my videos there is a video i did and i was like do not do this on online dating apps things you shouldn't accept to do while you are on online dating apps so in today's story guys we are getting vivid examples of the things i was talking about in that video why you shouldn't do those things because you can find yourself in trouble or you can find yourself in a situation where this beautiful nigerian sister of ours found herself in there is a lot to learn from today's story so without wasting much of your time let us jump into this video so dear friends the name of the lady in our today's story is chisom from nigeria i came to know chisom through youtube on the comment section watched one of my success story that i shared here and was like i also want to share my success story i directed her on instagram and that's how i came to know chisom that's how i came to know this story that i'm sharing with you today so it's not an invented story it is a real real story all stories that i've shared here on my channel are real because sometimes you'll be like is this story even real <laughs> these are real stories guys but before i go further chisom is a content creator too very new on youtube so guys i'm gonna be putting the name of her youtube channel here or here so that you can go and subscribe to her channel enjoy her content you know guys we all have something to learn from each other Another thing is that recently Chisom uploaded a video on how she met her husband. That was a brief story. Decided to share with us a detailed story of her online dating journey, which will help us learn a lot till when she found the husband. And because I told you it's gonna be a detailed one, we need to know Chisom's past love relationship experience. How was it like? So dear friends, Chisom tells us her love story started when she was at school and had that age where it was normal to start dating found this nigerian guy they started dating were so much in love with each other they dated till they finished school so when they finished school at that time chisom had grown up you know when you grow up you mature mentally and that's when you know what you want in life so chisom came to find out that she was not interested in black men so stopped looking for a white man in that nigerian guy and ended the relationship immediately i told you guys if it doesn't make you happy if it is not what you want do not go for it so, so chisom, chisom was very very sure of what she wanted that's why did not continue to waste the time of that nigerian guy so friends, Chisom tells us after ending the relationship with that Nigerian guy, one day was at a supermarket, shop right in Lagos, shopping for her things, came across this German guy, the guy was so nice, talked to her, and at the end of the day, they exchanged contacts. So after exchanging contacts, they started communicating and eventually started dating. This guy was so, so nice to Chisom, treated her so good, but 
too bad this guy's contract in Lagos was almost over so Chiso met this guy at the middle of his contract. contract so they kept on dating and when the contract was over this German guy returned to Germany and that's when their relationship came to an end but Chiso tells us it ended very well without fights or anything so last time i was talking with my friend and she was like when you go white you will never go black and when you go black you will never go white <laughs> we laughed a lot so after chisom dating this german guy she became more interested in dating white men was like the next man is gonna be a white man i will never go back to black <laughs> so Chisom was there single praying to God to bring that white man in her life and one day was on Facebook came across this girl she is from the same village where Chisom is coming from so on this girl's page she had posted her white boyfriend when Chisom saw that was so happy for that girl commented on the post was like congratulations then had to privately message that girl to ask her where did you find that white boyfriend because Chisom was interested in dating a white guy and I know guys with this you can relate sometimes you can be on Instagram you know <laughs> scrolling and scrolling then you come across someone that's you know and is dating a white guy because you are interested in interracial dating you'll be like oh i have to ask her <laughs> how did you find this guy maybe she can give you some tips how to find a white guy that is why i always bring you these stories because i know you are so interested in knowing where these black ladies find white guys <laughs> so that is what happened too to Chisom and the friend was so so good responded to her was like thank you so much I found my boyfriend on a Facebook dating group which is called love seasonal color went ahead and told her what to do to set her profile put attractive photos I've been telling you guys photos wax magic <laughs> to attract men because it is the first thing that the man sees when he comes across your profile on online dating apps so told her put attractive photos then introduce yourself in that group so Chisom did exactly what the friend told her, uploaded attractive photos, introduced herself and it was a successful one because after doing that started receiving lots of messages from white guys. She was so happy, very excited because saw that her dream was almost coming true. So after receiving lots of messages of white guys from Love Season of Color, that was a Facebook dating group had to choose one of them so that she can start communicating to him tells us chose an american guy his name is mike 21 years of age the reason to why chisom chose mike tells us it's because mike was so fun full of life and also his age is what exactly chisom wanted so guys they started talking and chisom tells us they could talk every single day mike could make video calls it went to an extent the parents had to ask chisom who is that person that you always talk to so at the end of the day chisom had to tell the parents about mike everything continued very well mike being a good guy also bought a phone for chisom and the mother that asked where did you get that phone Chisom was like it's Mike so all was going so so fine it reached an extent Chisom had to move out of the parents house and stay alone tells us Mike was there for her helped her buy some furnitures and also bought a fridge for her so their relationship continued to be stronger and Mike started talking of going to Nigeria to meet Chisom 
for the first time Shisom was so happy and yes guys after six months of chatting Mike was ready to go to Nigeria to meet Chisom. so guys eventually Mike went to Nigeria arrived at the airport Chisom was there waiting for him when she saw him was super happy Mike too was happy it was really a wonderful moment to meet each other in person so guys from the airport they went to the hotel where Mike had booked and the second day Chisom took Mike to introduce him to the parents because she used to talk to him <laughs> so the parents were so happy to meet Mike everything went very well and after one week of Mike being in Nigeria did like any other serious guy could do in a relationship taking their relationship to the next level which is proposing so mike proposed to chisom at hard rock cafe in victoria island lagos she was super happy because so that the relationship is going on the right direction so she said yes <laughs> then after the proposal mike stayed in nigeria for a while but as we know he had to go back to america but before he went back to america told chisom i would like to invite you to america so that you can see my life spend some more time together because the intention of this couple was to get married eventually chisom was so happy because everything was going you know in the right direction <laughs> yeah so mike paid for the visa which was 350 dollars then left to america so guys let's go back to that facebook group where they met after the proposal of course they posted their engagement photos where people were so happy celebrated them tells us motivated many gained lots of admirers gained lots of followers and likes everything was good 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 everyone looking up to them so guys let's go back to their real relationship <laughs> so the relationship between chisom and mike was going so so good tells us after him returning to america they kept on communicating they could communicate even more and meanwhile they were going through the visa process remember chisom was supposed to go to america to visit mike so guys we can see everything is going very well but we have afro cinema <laughs> yeah so guys chisom tells us everything was fine between them they kept on communicating and one day mike saw chisom with a baby of a sister and was like i don't want kids meaning if we get married i don't want to have kids when she heard that tells us it broke her heart because that wasn't her plan at all she wanted to have kids when she gets married so that one made her to start having double mind asking herself how can i get married to a man who doesn't want kids so she started losing interest in mike mike too started sensing it you know if you have your boyfriend you always communicate it's like you know each other if one is not okay or is acting a little bit weird you will know or you will sense it so that is why mike sensed that chisom was losing interest and mike too started having cold feet so they kept on talking but not that much after that incident of not wanting a baby <laughs> and then one day mike disappeared for the whole day chisom was very worried tells us yes had lost a bit interest in mike but still cared for him a lot had to check mike's friend and ask him what is going on is mike okay he has been quiet then the next day mike returned wrote her a message and was like you know what i want this relationship to end i cannot handle it anymore so it ended like that but chisom was so heartbroken and then told herself why should i kill myself 
for a guy who doesn't want kids i think it's time to move on also guys chisom tells us when mike said he doesn't want kids she had to regret not to ask mike this important question do you want kids do you plan to have kids because tells us it was better for her to ask that question before the relationship went that far and on this guys i have an advice for you like i said guys it has been a year since i started doing videos about online dating dating white men i remember very well there is a video i did about questions to ask a guy on online dating apps and this one applies to offline if you're dating a guy offline and one of the questions i talked about is to ask a guy about wanting kids when you are chatting with a guy never forget this because if you keep quiet about it you don't ask about it you get married then this guy tells you i don't want to have kids and your plan was to have kids it's gonna be a very big problem that will put your marriage to an end so to avoid all that it is better to ask guys these white men choosing not to have kids it's very normal some men find kid very disturbing they want that peaceful life they just want to have fun in life without kids around disturbing them so they choose not to have kids some men have got kids already especially these mature men you find a guy is in his late 50s late 60s late 70s <laughs> doesn't want more kids so it's okay for him to say i don't want kids it's not a crime and some men are so immature they know it they can't handle being a father it's a great responsibility for them so they choose not to have kids guys always ask if a guy wants kids or if he wants more kids if that guy has got kids already this is to avoid regrets just like chisom had to regret not asking mike if he wants kids when they get married i want to add another tip here concerning this whole situation if you're on online dating app searching you find a guy everything goes very well you start dating before you take important decisions before you agree to do something that will change your whole life think very careful justify yourself as a woman make sure you have all answers that you would like to get from that man because if you don't have answers to some questions and you agree to take an important decision with that guy my dear friend you are going to cry because after he has engaged you or after he has got married to you it will be very difficult to go back so now is the time ask questions confirm be very very careful with the decisions that you take when i talk of taking important decisions includes your finances maybe you are financially stable as a lady then you fall in love with a guy you met online then this guy starts tricking you to have a joint bank account tricks you to take loans on his behalf if you remember samantha's story she took a loan so that she can come to italy to meet the boyfriend who was not ready to show efforts in that relationship because if you can't sponsor half of my trip to come to meet you where is your efforts you can't tell me samantha was justified or had all answers all boxes were tick 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 about ricardo no guys all boxes were not tick 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 she still had loads of unanswered questions <laughs> Don't accept to be engaged by the guy that you still have lots of questions. You still need to know lots of things about him. Don't accept to get married to a guy that you still have lots of questions that you need to confirm. If you make a mistake in one of those, your life will be ruined. I hope you guys have learned something here. Let's keep on with our story. So guys, after that breakup, Chisom had to move on with her life. So Chisom had to return back to that Facebook dating group, which is called Love Seasonal Color, and received a message 
from an American guy, his name was Mike. But the difference is the first Mike was called Mike Hart and this second Mike was totally a different Mike, but American. <laughs> so they started talking and eventually started dating. Everything was going very well and because everything was okay, this second Mike also started planning to go to Nigeria to meet Chisom. And we have another Afro cinema. <laughs> so guys, at that time when the new Mike was planning to go to Nigeria, returned the old Mike. <laughs> He was like, Chisum, I'm so sorry. I am ready to do everything that you want me to do. I want to bring you to America so that I can marry you. Let's work things out. So Chisum got confused. I was like, you know what, Mike? I am very, very confused because when we broke up, I found another guy and he is American. <laughs> so the old Mike was like, don't be confused. Don't worry. I'm going to fix everything. Ask the name of this new Mike that he uses on Facebook. So what the old Mike did, decided to write a message to this new Mike. So his message was like, why are you disturbing my girlfriend? Stop disturbing my girlfriend. She's home. We are so in love with each other. When this new Mike got a message, had to forward it to Chisom. Chisom saw the message and was so, so angry at the old Mike. Why did you have to tell him that? But the old Mike was like, don't worry, I'm gonna fix everything. So what happened guys, when this new Mike received a message from the old Mike saying that he is the boyfriend and all that, he got so angry and started threatening Chisom, telling her that I am going to expose you on Facebook gossip group. And the reason to why this new Mike was threatening Chisom, it's because this new Mike had tricked Chisom to send him the photos of her boobs. So he had those photos and told Chisom, I am going to send these photos everywhere, starting from Facebook gossip group, then I'll send them to your sister in London, your aunt in America, everyone in your family will see those photos. But there were photos of her boobs, not her goodies. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> So he threatened her and was like, I'm going to tell everyone how bad you are. When Chisom heard that, she was super, super scared, started pleading with him, please do not send those photos anywhere. The guy didn't listen. It was in the evening in Nigeria, so she slept. In the morning when she woke up, woke up to lots of messages from girls on Facebook telling her how someone has exposed her. So what this new Mike did, yes, he sent those photos, but Chisom tells us on Facebook, you can't just post something like that. So what he did, he sent those photos privately to people in that Facebook gossip group. So these ladies from Facebook were telling her how people are making mockery of her, how some ladies are laughing at her, but there are some other ladies who stood by her side. Chisom was so sad, embarrassed, ashamed, of all that happened concerning those photos but she had nothing to do the photos were sent already even talked to the sister the sister encouraged her told her don't worry as long as that guy does not have the photos of your goodies don't worry it will pass so that same same day what she some decided to do deactivated her account on facebook deactivated her account on instagram stayed on her own and deleted the first mic and the second mic never wanted to do anything with the two of them so here we have some lessons to learn number one chisom told me the reason why i am making this video it's because of this situation i want to tell all ladies out there to never go back to their exes and never send your nude photos to any guy whether online or offline you know i'm making this video to to really tell girls not to ever send their naked pictures and not to ever go back to their exes oh my god you cannot even imagine how i felt i had to 
so my sad sister, guys and i told her everything i was really crying they encouraged me not to worry too much so chisom says was a fool to believe the ex never go back to your ex so i want to add a tip here when i said that i did a video i told you of the things not to do online dating apps i talked of you not sending your nude photos to a guy never do online sex with a guy that you have met on online dating apps they will trick you by sending you their private parts and then you'll be like oh because he sent me his let me send mine or others will tell you let's do it together like, like do online sex maybe you are using skype what if this guy is recording you because a guy who can sit there do online sex with you he has got nothing to lose you are the one who is going to lose even chisom tells us after all this the mother was like who is going to marry you with all this that has happened so please protect yourself as a woman have dignity don't accept to be tricked by these guys if a guy truly loves you will never ask for nude photos will never ask you to stay on camera and do online sex trust me guys but if you don't try it you will come back to cry for me because I've seen many coming back telling me, Bella, I wish I listened to you. Even there is a day I received a message from a lady who wanted an advice from me because was chatting with a guy. This guy tricked her to do online sex with him. He recorded her because you guys, if you're talking on Skype, how will you know a guy is recording you? You won't know. So the guy recorded her and after getting all that he wanted wrote to a girl and was like you are so stupid right now i'm going to be selling your videos so she wrote to me was like what can i do i advised her but i don't know how it ended i know one day she'll come back and tell me how did it go so guys be careful please please don't do these things because they have got nothing to do with a serious guy it's high time you understand this and i thank god that chisom was a strong lady her family stood by her side because some ladies have lost lives due to these things you see your nude photos going online and then people decide to take their lives they can't stand the shame so don't allow yourself to go there i'm insisting on this i know some of you will be like she's talking too much but i know how important it is so after deactivating her facebook account and instagram waited for things to pass for two years and after two years Chisom was back on her feet ready to search for the love of her life but this time never went to Facebook group had to go to the dating apps I'll tell you the name of the dating app that she used because we have a success story she found the one so I'll let you know the name of the app where she found the one so she had to set her profile put beautiful attractive photos her bio was good everything was in order and started searching so chisom tells us it wasn't easy at all she came across guys who were there to ask for nude photos again but she had experience already wasn't going to send any nude photo <laughs> came across guys who just wanted you know to waste time it was challenges 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 until one day received a message of this cute guy from poland so this guy said hi i am piotro i hope i'm pronouncing it well chisom you let me know <laughs> if i pronounced well the name of your husband <laughs> So my name is Piotro, I am from Poland, I'm here to look for a serious relationship. I went through your profile, I like you, I would like to get to know you more. So Chisom tells us, when you go through lots of challenges with these men on online dating apps and then receive a message of a serious guy, tells you you will know it's gonna be very very different so this guy's message was really different from all messages she received on that dating app and guys that was 2020 so she responded and they started talking every single day so they kept on talking making video calls strengthening their relationship day by day tells us after two months of getting to know each other piotr 
or I'm going to say Peter introduced Chisom to his mother because as he has got a very close relationship with the mother i've been telling you guys you're dating a guy he should introduce you to his family i repeat it's very very important it shows that you are important to this guy but if he is keeping on avoiding introducing you to the family something is wrong somewhere be careful so Chisom greeted his mother by waving. The mother waved back. Due to language barrier, they couldn't talk, but they were smiling at each other. This is so, so beautiful. So everything kept on going good in the right direction between Piotr and Chisom. Tells us he used to spoil her if he wanted to know if he was spoiling her. Yes, he used to spoil her, send her money, send her gifts in special occasions like birthday, Christmas. He also used to buy some things online, make them deliver those things to Chisom. Used to buy like flowers, chocolates. Oh my God, that's so, so sweet. So Chisom really felt very loved. But attention guys, Chisom never asked money from Piotr. So with this, I asked her a question. I was like, there is a lot of Nigerian ladies complaining that they can't find love online. Most men online call them scammers. And this is due to the comments I've been receiving here on YouTube and some people DM me on Instagram. So Chisom advises you, do not ask men money on online dating apps. If a guy loves you, he's gonna send you money. And if he does not send you money, it's not a red flag. So keep on with your relationship but don't ask men money so guys before i continue i know you know if piotr was asking for nude photos from chisom or online sex the answer is no he wasn't asking for nude photos not even online sex he was very very respectful yes they could talk i love you i miss you such kind of words that lovers tells each other but also says if he asked for nude photos she was going Going to block him wasn't going to give the photos to him but never asked and he is a serious guy because a serious guy will never ask you for nude photos and will never be happy for you to lose your dignity all in the name of love so after six months of communicating they started talking on how to meet and the decision was Piotr to go to Nigeria to meet Chisom. But Chisom tells us, unfortunately, it was during the pandemic where there were a lot of restrictions for people to travel. So the boyfriend couldn't travel to go to Nigeria, meet her, even if they wanted to meet each other so soon. But guys, despite this COVID challenge of them not to be able to meet, they kept on with their relationship and April 5th, 2022, Piotr or Peter went to Nigeria to meet Chisom for the first time. So when he arrived, it was a magical moment. They were so happy to meet each other. And then after the airport, they went to the hotel where Piotr had booked. So after two days of him being in Nigeria, Chisom tells us it was his first time to be in Nigeria, so she had to take him around, show him places in Lagos. But that day, Piotr told her to dress up very nicely. She was like, I always dress up very nicely, so what's up? <laughs> but dressed up nicely and they went out tells us they went to a beach and as they were walking on the beach saw him on his knee popping the question will you marry me chisom <laughs> she was so happy tells us people that were around were so happy started clapping and shouting jesus <laughs> So she said yes guys. So the name of the beach where he proposed, if you're Nigerian you will know, it's called Leisure Beach. It's in Lekki, Lagos. So guys, Chisom tells us they fell in love when they were online still chatting. But when they met in person, they fell in love even more so after the proposal that was the time for goodies 
<laughs> yes, she gave her goodies because she was a hundred percent sure that Piotr is the one. So friends, the proposal was a surprise, but while talking online, they had planned the wedding. Remember, he came 5th April to Nigeria, 7th proposed, and then on 11th April, they got married. Congratulations to you, Chisom and Piotr. So guys, that was their beautiful online dating success love story. Chisom tells us what helped her the most was prayers. She could fast, she could pray and tell God that if this man is not the one, if he is one of those guys that comes in your life just to play games, let him disappear. But if he is the one, please God, show me that he is the one. And we see God showed that he is the one. They got married. So I asked her, how did you believe this guy? Meet him for the first time, accept the engagement, then get married. She was like, the way we used to talk on the video call, he introduced me to the man he was so transparent he was so fun but looking at his face it will tell you he is a good guy so we learned something here guys I remember Sharon's story if you guys watched Sharon and family's story she was like when she was talking to Tom for the first time was looking at him how polite he was <laughs> so guys when you talk on a video call if a guy is serious you will note lots of things maybe from his face maybe from the way he talks you know <laughs> yeah so guys, Chisom give you a very important advice concerning her story. Tells us few days after getting married, the husband received a message from someone on Facebook who sent him a photo of Chisom and the old Mike, the one who went to Nigeria. But what saved Chisom, she told Piotr the truth, everything about her past relationship experience. So the husband knew everything, it wasn't a shock. But the person who sent that photo wanted to ruin her marriage. Yes, some people are very, very wicked. So Chisom advises you, if you find a guy, he is a good guy, you create a very good relationship, you see that he is the one, please tell him the truth about your past relationship experience. Can I remember in Michibu's story, if you watched the story about Michibu, <laughs> my sister who found love on online dating apps, advised you that you should always be honest Tell the guy everything because if he comes to your country and then maybe there is something you told him lies, <laughs> people talk, they tell him the truth, that relationship will end. So better be honest with the guy. If you know that the guy is serious, the guy is the one, tell him about your past relationship experience. Please, please. <laughs> and guys, as your sister, I want to add to this. I think I talked about it. Yes, you can share your past relationship experience, stories with a guy that you are dating, but make sure, this is important, he is serious and he is into you. He really genuinely loves you so much. It's important because if you just tell any guy that is not even yet into you, you will ruin everything. He's gonna run, girl. <laughs> so keep it in mind. So where did she find this cute Polish guy that is her husband right now? She found him on Afro introduction. Oh my God, we have so many success stories about Afro introductions and I am still yet to share more success stories from Afro introductions, but she also tried Afro romance. So if you didn't know about Afro romance dating app, you can try it out. I mentioned it before that it has got lots of American guys. So if you're interested in American guys, you can try Afro romance. Before I forget guys, on Afro introduction, 
Chisom never paid a penny, but the husband, Piotr, was paying on Afro introductions. Tells us if guys could send her messages that they have not paid, she couldn't open their messages. So she could only read messages from guys who are paying. I repeat guys, you can use Afro introductions for free on a free version concentrate on only guys that have paid please please because i get lots of messages from ladies telling me after introductions you have to pay to chat you don't want to listen to me use the free version you'll be able to chat with a guy who has paid i hope you understand me i know you guys would like to know after the wedding what happened how did she come to poland because right now she is in poland already she promised in her channel she's gonna share a story of what happened after marriage till when she came to poland so please check her out in her channel again her channel name is Chisom and Piotr. I'll put it here or here. So please, please support our beautiful sister by subscribing to her channel. <laughs> so friends, thank you so much for watching this video till now. I really appreciate you much. Your support, God bless you. Please, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know please watch my other videos too they are super good you're going to learn a lot a lot of things if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for please join the family thank you for subscribing and merry christmas in advance i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao <laughs>